Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our eighth lesson on formula and variation whereby you are looking at our example number four involving variation which is a past cases equation tested in 2013, paper two, question number 22. So it reads that three quantities uh, R, S and T are such that R varies directly as S and inversely as the square of T. Given that R is 480 uh, when S is 150 and T is 5, write an equation connecting R, S, and T. So the first thing we're going to do is to obtain the equation uh, connecting these particular three quantities. So we are told that R varies directly as S. So this one simply means that uh, R is actually directly proportional to quantity S. And the same same R is also inversely uh, proportional to uh, the square of t. So the same same r is inversely proportional to uh, the square of t. So because there is an and, it simply means that we are combining direct uh, variation and also inverse variation. Therefore, we are talking of a joint variation. Therefore, we are going to multiply this particular two to obtain the joint variation. So r will actually uh, be directly uh, proportional to because we are joining this particular two. It is a joint variation. So this will be S, then you multiply with uh, the reciprocal of uh, T squared, which is actually representing the uh, inverse proportionality. So R will be uh, directly proportional to S multiplied by 1, you'll get S, then of course divided by uh, T uh, squared. To remove the um, proportionality simple, we introduce equal sign with a constant uh, K, therefore S over uh, T uh, squared. Then we are given the values that can help us find the value of k. Therefore, I'll simply substitute. So r is 480. So I'm going to have 480 uh, being equal to a k, then multiplied by s. s is 150. So multiplied by 150. Then, of course, the whole thing divided by uh, t uh, squared, which is actually 5. So divided by uh, 5 uh, squared. Then um, let me separate uh, my working so that I'm going to have the following. So of course, I'm going to uh, get the following 480 being equal to, so 480 uh, will be equal to k times 150. I'll simply get 150 uh, 150 k. Then of course, uh, divided by 5 squared, I'm going to get uh, 25. Therefore, if I want to find the value of k, I'm going to multiply both sides with the reciprocal. So this one simply implies that uh, my value of k uh, will actually be equal to 480 multiplied by the reciprocal of 150 over 25, which is actually uh, 25 over 150. So by 25 over 150. So the value of K will actually be equal to, so 480 uh, multiplied by uh, 25 out of uh, 150, uh, we are going to get 80. So the value of K is actually equal to uh, 80. So it means that the equation relating the three quantities will be uh, R is equals to uh, K. K is actually 80. So this will be 80 uh, S then of course over T squared. So this is the equation relating uh, R, S and T. So we are told to write an equation connecting R, S and T. So this is the uh, equation. Then we move to part B of the question. So we have part B Roman 1 whereby you are being asked to uh, find the value of R when S is 360 and T is 1.5. So I'll simply uh, substitute. So R will be equal to uh, 80 uh, multiplied by S. I'm told that when S is uh, 360, so multiplied by 360, then divided by uh, T squared when T is 1.5. So this is uh, 1.5, but because it was T squared, it will be 1.5 squared. So this is going to give me 80 multiplied by 360. I'm going to get a uh, 28. So this is this will give me a uh, 28,800. Uh, 28,800. Then um, uh, divided by 1.5 squared. I'm going to get 2.25. Uh, so this is 2.25. Uh, Therefore, uh, I'm going to get the following when I perform the quotient. Uh, so the quotient is going to give me uh, the value of R being equal to. So R will actually be equal to 
28,800. Then, of course, I divide by uh, 2.25. So the answer is going to be uh, 12,000. So I'm going to get 12,800 as my value of uh, R, 12,800. Then, um, uh, so that will be the value of R for this particular case, 12,800. Then we move to B, Roman 2 of the question. So B, Roman 2 whereby you are being asked to find the percentage change in R if S increases by 5% and T uh, decreases by 20%. So we are going to find the new uh, value of um, S. We are told that S increases by 5%. So the new value of S, so the new S will be equal to uh, S increases by 5%. So this will be 100 plus 5, you'll get 105. Uh? So this will be 105 over 100. Uh, multiplied by s which is going to give me uh, 105 divided by 100 you are going to get 1.1.05 uh, 1 then of course it has an s then you also find the new value of t t decreases by 20 percent so the new value of t uh, so the our new t will be given by so an, a decrease of 20 percent you'll simply take 100 then minus 20 which is going to give you 80 percent so the new t will be uh, 80 over 100 multiplied by the original uh, t which is going to give us 80 divided by 100 you're going to get 0 0.8 so our new t is 0.8 t so we are told to find the percentage change in r so we need to find the new value of r so r new uh, for us to find the new value of r we need first of all to have the original uh, value of r which i believe we already have so r original uh, original value of r was given by the following so it was actually uh, 80s 80s divided by uh, t squared so this was our original r therefore our new value of r so r uh, new should be given by uh, 80 so this is uh, 80 then of course uh, multiplied by uh, we can actually also work with uh, r without substituting the value of k actually that will be uh, far much simpler as uh, opposed to when we include the 80 that is the 80 in our working so let me work with uh, my original r being having k so r original the r original uh, was given by so this was the r original uh, without substituting the k so it was uh, ks uh, it was ks out of a uh, t squared this was the original r without substituting the value of k then our new value of r so this is r new uh, r new in terms of k uh, will be given by uh, k then of course multiplied by our new value of s so our new s is um 1.1.05 uh, 1.05 s then divided by our new value of t is uh, 0 0.8 t so divided by 0 0.8 t but because it was t squared i'm also going to square this then uh this is uh going to give me uh the following so this is what i'm going to uh, get Remember, you can also work with um, R when you have substituted 80, but actually without substituting is usually the uh, simpler uh, method. So the, our new value of R, so R new uh, will be given by, uh, so of course K multiplied by 1.05 S, we are going to get 1.05. Then I'll start with um, K, uh, I'll start with uh, K, so this will be KS, uh, KS. Then, of course, uh, divided by, this one means if you take 0 0.8 uh, squared, you're going to get 0 0.64. So this will be 0 0.64. Then, of course, the T will also be squared uh, because we are squaring uh, everything. So this one is going to give us 1.05 uh, divided by 0 0.64. We are going to get, um, as a fraction, I'm getting 105. Uh, 105, then, of course, out of uh, 64 uh, then we have ks then of course over a t uh, squared ks over t squared now if we want to find the percentage uh, change so this is what we are going to do 
uh, for us to get the percentage change. So I'm simply going to take uh, the following. So the percentage change uh, will be given by the following. So we are asked to find the percentage change in R. So percentage, the percentage change uh, in R will be given by the change in R, which is R uh, new, then of course minus R original. Uh, let me write it on um, uh, this further end. This is where we have uh, enough space. So let me write it here. So percentage change in R, uh, percentage change, change in R will be given by the change in R, which is uh, the new value of R minus original uh, value of R, original value of R divided by original value of R, original then multiplied by 100%. So this is going to give us our new value of R is here. So this is 1 of 5, uh, 1 of 5 out of 64, 1 of 5 out of 64, uh, KS over T uh, squared minus. Our original value of R without substituting the K was actually uh, KS over uh, T squared, then divided by original is KS over T squared, then multiplied by 100%. But to realize that KS uh, over T squared is common, so I can factor it out. So I'll have KS over um, uh, T squared, then of course into, I'm going to have 1 of 5 uh, out of 64. Then of course I'm going to subtract with, here the coefficient is 1, so minus 1. Then of course divided by uh, the denominator which is KS over uh, T squared, then multiplied by 100%. Now, you realize that there are values that are going to cancel out. So let me create some working space uh, on this side so that I can finish it up, uh, my working. So I'm going to get the following. There are values that are going to cancel out. So you realize that uh, KS over T squared and KS over T squared is going to cancel out. Therefore, the percentage uh, change, the percentage change in R, will be given by so if i take uh one of five a uh, one of five out of uh, uh, 64 then of course minus one i'm going to get uh, zero point so this one is giving me uh, 0 uh, 0.64 0 0.64 0 0.625 uh, 0 point, uh, 0 0.64 0 0.625 then of course we are multiplying with 100, multiplied by 100%. So this will give me, uh, of course, the two zeros will move the decimal. So we are going to have 64.0625%. Uh, so this is the percentage uh, change in R. So we are told to find the percentage change. So you need to indicate whether it is an increase or a decrease. So clearly 64.0625 is a positive value. So it simply uh, means that you are going to conclude that Therefore, uh, R, R increased, uh, R increased, R increased by, it increased by uh, 64.0625%. So if it was a negative value, we will have said that R decreased by 64.0625%. You can also express this as, um, uh, you can as well express that is the 64 point uh, zero six two uh, five you can also express it as a mixed fraction or you can as well say that r increased by uh, r increased uh, by as an improper that is as a mixed fraction you'll get 64 whole number uh, 1 over 16 uh, 1 over 16 uh, percent so either this one or this any is acceptable so the key thing to note is that this particular positive, the positive value, the positive is indicated by an increase. Huh? Then a decrease is indicated by a negative value. So in our next class, we'll be looking at further examples. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.